Right here in Newtown, Connecticut, the site today of a mass shooting and this time gunfire aimed at elementary school children. We're here in front of the Newtown United Methodist Church where we've watched people gathering all evening long as tonight the details are still pouring in. There are 27 victims, 20 children, 7 adults. And we've heard all day about the incredible response by teachers inside the school, which is considered one of the leading schools in the nation. And also tonight, we have a new image of the suspected shooter as we tell you everything we know about who did it, what kind of weapons, and why. And we begin all of this with 2020 anchor Chris Cuomo, and he's here right now with me, Chris. Diane, it is an almost um, unimaginable scene. What we know so far is that inside this elementary school was a group of young kids. They were protectors, and there was one deranged man who decided to take it all away. This morning, the Sandy Hook Elementary School was full of kids concerned about Christmas. And then at 9.40 a.m., shots rang out. I the units, the individual that I have on the phone is continuing to hear what he believes to be gun. Inside, little kids are under attack. We heard all this racket at um, our classroom. Horrible things are happening. Teachers make sure they're safe and then do the unimaginable. And what did the teacher do then? Um, she read us some books and we talked about things and they played little games in there. Did you hear any more bad noises? Um, yes. The teacher's calm is matched by a storm of police activity. Word of possibly two shooters sparks searches of the surrounding area. Children are rushed out of the school, single file, hands on shoulders, eyes squeezed shut. We got in the line and we had to close our eyes. How did you find your way out with your eyes closed? Um, we all put our hands on other people's shoulders and then our teacher held the first person's hand and she let us out. Chaos. Complete chaos. Nobody knew where anyone was. It was a mob scene of children and police and adults. Ella's mom, Amy, and dozens of other families search for their kids as information starts to trickle in. I heard that children were taken out bloody. I'm very scared, worried about my son, worried about the other kids that I know here. Uh, it was terrifying. It's, it's, I'm still terrified. I think I'm still in shock about it all. I still don't know everything that happened. A situation that couldn't be any more terrifying. Kids at the mercy of a deranged gunman. And yet it keeps getting worse. Okay, these units in the pool, I got uh, bodies here. Among the dead, 20-year-old gunman Adam Lanza and his mother, who was a teacher's aide at the elementary school. He came with a bulletproof vest and four guns, including two semi-automatic handguns and possibly an assault rifle, say authorities. He killed so many of the kids she loved. It's a very, very difficult scene for the family members, for all the responding first responders. It's a tragedy. It's a tragic scene. And yet many more survived, like little Ella, who will still have a chance at a Merry Christmas. It's over. Okay. Do you know that now? Yeah. You know, all these survivors, they're so young, and that makes it so tragic. And yet at the same time, the families are hoping they're young enough, Diane, that they'll be able to forget and move on with their lives. So tell us now the latest details, whatever we've learned about why and motives of the suspected shooter. It is always so important to us because that's the one thing we can learn in a situation is what drove this person to this horrible thing. And yet now it's getting more confusing. Authorities now believe that the gunman's mother was found killed in her home, not at the school. So the question remains now larger than ever. Why did this man go to this school? Why did he attack these kids with such intensity? Target so many young kids. And we know details are still coming in, as we've been saying, and we'll bring you up to date throughout this hour tonight as we are in this special broadcast. Uh, as we drove into town, I know you saw those beautiful hills coming into this incredibly wonderful town. And tonight we see the flags at half staff right here in Newtown and across the country. The flags are also at half staff as today President Obama addressed the nation tearing up as he talked about the grieving parents and their small children. The majority of those who died today were children. Uh, beautiful little kids between the ages of 5 and 10 years old.
They had their entire lives ahead of them. Birthdays, graduations, weddings, kids of their own.